Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at what data is removed and what happens with the hard drive when we perform a upgrade to Windows 10, where we tell it that we want to actually carry out a clean install and not retain any of the user data on the system. So what I have done is I have a little text document here called File Check and I have placed this in a few locations on the drive. I have placed it in the root of C, in the root of program files, in the root of users, and also in the Windows directory. So what we are going to do now is we are going to do a clean install of Windows 10 but from a upgrade. So when we begin, I know that sounds silly, but we are going to say set up to begin a clean install here this is just going through the standard sort of getting ready to install windows bits Now I'm going to tell it to not download updates at the moment, just to speed things up. This is a completely clean install of Windows 8.1, so there's very little data on this system, so things should be nice and quick, but I'll skip the actual install process. We'll just go, once it's completed, to looking at what is on the system. So here, instead of saying keep Windows settings, personal files and apps, I'm going to change this and say nothing. Everything will be deleted, including files, apps and settings. So this should, in theory, give me a completely clean Windows install with none of the remnants of Windows 8.1 left behind. So there we go, that's ready to install. We are going to set it going and I will rejoin this video once the installation has completed to look at what has been retained and what has been removed. So having now installed Windows 10 and... So having now installed Windows 10, uh, unfortunately I lost output to my capture card during the out-of-box experience, but there's nothing particularly interesting in there. But what we can do now, we can see if we go onto the hard drive, first of all we have a Windows old folder and file check still exists in the root of the hard drive. If we look in program files, it has gone from there. Equally, it is no longer in users. Uh, I created the same username, stupidly. I should have gone with something different. But any documents that were stored have all gone. Uh, that folder is removed. And equally, if we look in the Windows directory, there is no file check file in there either. Instead, everything has been moved to the Windows old folder. So we can see file check in program files and in users and also in the Windows directory. So we've ha effectively had a clean install of Windows done. Uh, there is nothing carried over from it, but all of the files in case we needed to restore anything are still stored on the hard drive. If we look in update and security, we have the recovery option. We don't have the option to roll it back to 8.1 but our files are set and settings are still there. So now if we want to free up the disk space used by this Windows old directory we can see it's going to be using a fairly significant amount of disk space. Um, it will actually obviously if you have a lot of user data in there then potentially this folder will be quite a bit bigger but what we can do to get rid of the majority of it um, is just go through and say we want to delete it, it will say we need to provide admin permission, then it's going to say this is owned by system, 
and slightly strangely we get the option to try again. If you hit try again it starts to delete things. Um, this won't remove absolutely everything but it will remove a large bulk of the files and I believe particularly if it's stored some of your old user data then that will all get cleared out by this. Uh, some other aspects won't and you can sort of take over permissions on those yourself and clear them out but this will cover the sort of basics of it. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more and check out the other Windows 10 videos we've already uploaded. Thanks for watching.